Meet Johann van Holst, the teacher who saved over 600 children. Van Holst's life began like so many others. He was born to an ordinary family in Amsterdam in 1911. His early life was characterized by a modest upbringing and a period of studying psychology and teaching at a university in his home city. But his life would change forever when the Second World War broke out and the Netherlands found itself under the goose-stepping boots of the Nazis. The German occupation of the Netherlands during the Second World War holds the distinction of being among the most brutal. Although stories from France and Poland dominated this period, the Netherlands lost three quarters of its Jewish population. In 1942, Van Holst was the director of the Reformed Teacher Training College responsible for training elementary school teachers. Across the street just so happened to be the primary gathering point of Amsterdam's Jews, the final stop before being deported to the concentration camps in the east. Van Holst's college also shared a back garden with a daycare center that the Nazis had commanded to detain Jewish children before they too were sent to the death camps. The daycare center in question was run by Henriette Pimentel, herself a Jew who had served as its headmistress since 1926. Knowing that everyone there faced certain death, Van Holst and members of the Dutch resistance worked together to save as many children as possible. But although many assumed that the children were simply smuggled away, the plan was far more complex and much more delicate. To start with, Pimentel and Van Holst had to make sure that the children wouldn't be simply found and murdered after their escape. They took down physical descriptions of the children and reached out to adoptive families who could pass the children off as their biological offspring. It's not difficult to see how Van Holst had to make some heartbreaking decisions in the process. Taking away too many children would have aroused suspicion. Likewise, there were only so many potential families the children could be taken to. According to Van Holst, everyone understood that if 30 children were brought, we could not save 30 children. We had to make a choice, and one of the most horrible things was to make a choice. Once a family was identified, Van Holst and his associates worked to pass the children over the fence. Once out of the daycare center, both students and teachers in training would move these rescued children out of Amsterdam and into the countryside. Several methods were used, including hiding them in sacks and baskets before they were cycled out of the city to live out the war in the countryside. And some were more dangerous than others. In one method, helpers would wait for a tram to block the view of the deportation center across the street so that they could quickly cycle away without being seen by the guards standing outside. For many months, Van Holst and Pimentel were successful at saving hundreds of lives, but the operation could only carry on for so long. In the summer of 1943, Van Holst was almost caught. During an inspection by the Ministry of Education, an unnamed inspector saw the children and asked whether they were Jewish. Thankfully, the inspector decided to let it go, but he gave Van Holst a chilling warning. In God's name, be careful. Although Van Holst got away with it this time, just one month later, Pimentel herself was deported to Auschwitz on September 29, 1943. Her time had run out. Although it may seem as if the inspector had in fact reported the scheme, this wasn't true. As a Sephardic Jew, Pimentel had received a stay of execution as this Jewish sect wasn't rounded up and deported until much later. But with her deportation alongside a hundred children, the daycare was closed. In total, Van Holst had been instrumental in saving over 600 Jewish children, giving them a chance at life. Van Holst returned to running his teacher training school and remained active within the Dutch resistance. But just a few weeks before the liberation of the Netherlands, Van Holst was tipped off to the fact the Nazis had issued an arrest warrant for him. He went into hiding until the end of the war. Although Van Holst was a hero, he continued to be racked by guilt. According to a later recollection, he said, you realize that you cannot possibly take all the children with you. You know for a fact that the children you leave behind are going to die. I took 12 with me. Later on, I asked myself, why not 13? Van Holst would later enter politics as a member of the Dutch Senate for the Christian Historical Union and would remain in his position for 26 years. He would also hold a dual position as a member of the budding European Parliament for seven years. His actions during the war won him recognition as one of the righteous among the nations by Israel and immortalization in Jerusalem's Yad Vashem Museum. Van Holst would die in March 2018 at the age of 107. So there we have it. 
If you have any comments, criticisms or corrections, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.